I came here and started off incredibly strong. I, I just was just so taken back by just the sheer amount of just coconuts and papayas and just wonderful fruits that I could eat, you know, and I just, um, I just jumped right into it just like that and I felt like I was really making some, some ground as far as cleansing myself and everybody's giving me a hard time, nobody quite understood it. They, oh, you need to eat this, you need to eat that, you need to eat more, you're not eating enough. I was eating like 10 coconuts a day, you know, like just incredible amount of just nutrition, you know, nutrition that your body understands and fruits, that's my ideal. Yeah. Yeah, we want to eat. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be back tomorrow. What I prefer to eat um, is, is, is readily available in India. I'm just blown away here in Goa by the coconuts, by the fresh fruit, by, you know, like that it's just, it's just available at such a cheap price. It's incredible, you know, and that's, that's my preferred food. Because um, back home I was, I was pretty much fruits, vegetables, and nuts, and um, nuts and seeds, and that was about it. I don't eat things that are cooked or anything. I, when the sun's up right now, I'm just only eating fruits, and that's it, just fruits. I, it's something that the sun has grown for me, so I feel like the sun is, is ripening food and, and, and growing food for me during the day, then, then I need to, to respect that and appreciate that and enjoy it in full abundance. When the sun goes down, I've been allowing myself kind of one meal. Um, it's fairly easy to be healthy here. Coming from America, I was having a lot of skin issues, a lot of breakouts, you know, I was talking about it on camera, um, sores on my lips and things just breaking out. And I could never get those things under control back in America without heavy um, antibiotics. Um, to come here and to kind of like really, in an Ayurvedic sense, kind of look at like my body constitution so the, the Ayurvedic medicine has been um, and it has, has offered an incredible change on my body. And the massage, you know why we're giving it to you. The massages are actually to open up your channels, the nadis and the strotas that we call. Okay. So it's like an acupuncture, you know, like an acupuncture like we do in Chinese. Mm -hmm. Similarly in Ayurveda, we are opening up the canals of your body. So this helps to open the canal, allow the ghee to get absorbed into the body and further on help your body to get you know cleansed up properly. Mm. After that we have just put him to the steam box because then the steam helps him to open the canals again because that's in Ayurveda we work completely on canals or channels of the body. So these channels are opened up and he feels more comfortable and the ghee which he has taken is more absorbed in the cellular region in on the cells. Ghee is a clarified butter. This ghee is just not the ghee which you use in cooking. We have special companies here which we make it work with the help of medications or special decoctions, special herbs. And uh, the ghee selected for him was also depending on his doshas, depending on his, how his tongue was showing signs, depending on his pulse, how it was. So right now I'm doing a, a panchakarma. Um, it's, a, it's a cleansing technique in, our, in Ayurveda. Um, it consists of drinking warm ghee every morning. Ghee is um, um, kind of like a holy butter here made from cows, but it's considered very holy. So you drink this ghee every morning for about six days. Then on the seventh day, you take a pill that's gonna make you throw up all day long, like all day long. Well, what the ghee does is it's supposed to bind to a lot of toxins inside of your body. So you drink that ghee every morning. Tomorrow will be in interesting because at the, the end of the treatment, they make me throw up 20 to 30 times in one day. And tomorrow when you come up here, we are going to give a colonic. First, a massage for one hour. Yeah, this is called a bhyanga. After that, a colonic, which will be like about 700 ml with special herbs which will actually help you to clear the air or toxins which are present in the lower areas. Mm. Okay. Later on, we are going to give you a special medicine which is two tablespoons with hot water. Also, when we are doing Panchakarma, it is a cleansing of canals taking place. So what we do is we flush out the bad energies which are present in the body. So what also happens is during the Panchakarma, the person starts feeling very tired and emotional. As soon as the Panchakarma is over, the person starts to get more aggravated, like, good energy, the person starts to be lighter 
and the energy is flowing in the mental and physical energy is more clear making him feel positive and you know for a longer time tomorrow we are going to put him for a detox where we are going to give him some medications and we are going to give him this medication after giving a colonic and this will flush try to flush his toxins out and help him to you know clear out making him go to the toilet maybe between 3 times to 13 times or 3 times to 15 times we will see how he reacts tomorrow Coming into today, my last day of the cleanse, you know, I thought, I knew that on the last day it was like a purging day, like there was no ghee, you know, um, you pretty much, they, it's self-induced vomiting, so I thought, I thought it was going to be self-induced vomiting, but it ended up being self-induced diarrhea, which was uh, insane, I mean, it was just like unbelievable, it's the most uncomfortable thing ever, like it's self-induced. It's like a fitting way to leave Goa as well. Some things were a little off kilter, so it's really kind of fitting to kind of like have this like kind of just like like flush out day, and then um, you know leave a little bit lighter, less baggage, and kind of go about my way. It seems very fitting. Day I'm